and welcome to Race Car Fabrication and Restoration. I'm Ronnie Humphrey, as always. Thanks for joining me today. Don't forget to hit that like button and that subscribe button. Well, our goal today is to try to see if we can get this Pontiac cranked up. I've been doing a little bit of work on it since our last episode, and Buddy thinks we can fire it up today. So, right along. Let's see if we can get her done. Okay, on our last episode, I uh, had built all this radiator stuff, and uh, man, that took, I think it was six hours building all this. Um, I built uh, the upper radiator hose since then. I, got, I found the bottom radiator hose. The first time I went to ABC Auto Parts, uh, I found the right hose. I couldn't believe it. But uh, as we said in the last episode, Buddy was fooling around here last weekend and had found a... Uh, quarter inch nut in the valve springs so when the people came in there and remember this car was had a bunch of parts stolen off of it so what they did is they uh they woke broke into the trailer and they stripped the intake and the carburetor and distributor and the radiator and all the gauges out of it in, in case you're just now catching up on the car so it was sitting inside in a closed trailer and broke in the trailer and stole all the parts the owner had already bought this intake but we decided to pull it back off Buddy is uh, checking everything. We've got to make sure there's no other trash because when people are stealing stuff, they're not going to uh, care about, you know, they don't care if a bolt or a nut fell down in the motor. So we've got to make sure there's nothing on top of the pistons. Buddy has already turned the motor over. Uh, it's got good oil pressure. So we're going to uh, go ahead and make sure that it's it's clean. And uh, we hope to try to get this thing where we can crank it today. Uh, as far as all the other stuff, I've ordered everything. Uh, this is everything we need. Um, Summit was incredible. I was able to get, I don't do a whole bunch with Summit. They had everything I needed and I got it in one day, which allowed us to be able to work uh, this weekend because we're going to be off here for the Christmas break. But I got the correct tack. Everything matches. Um, we got the fan, got the motor oil. We do have to get a set of uh, spark plugs. I got to get some clamps on the radiator hose as well. Got a new battery to go in it. I also have located a set of exhausts. I got these from a friend of mine in North Carolina because the, remember the exhaust on the bottom is just totally rotted out. Uh, this is our other stuff. We're going to run a uh, HEI ignition. We're not going to fool with the racing ignition. I think a carburetor may be brand new, it looks like, but we may have to put something in it. Uh, I've already pulled out all of the fuel system, and there's a fuel cell there on the back of the Bojangles truck, but we're going to do away with all that we're just gonna go real simple and uh just put a the, the plastic cell in here because cars aren't gonna be racist it's just a show car and the owner wanted to try to be as uh, efficient as we could with the money spending so we're gonna do that so i'm gonna get the tire off get the new battery put in buddy's gonna keep on playing here and uh we'll see what we can get done because our goal today we would love to try to crank this thing and i think we can so we'll uh we'll see if we don't we'll crank it another day all right we got our battery cables on the new battery. I'm going to see if we can pop this off real quick. <laughs> if I hadn't told you these cup tires are so heavy when they got the interliner in them, it's unbelievable. Okay, let's see if we can get this battery in here. Oh. Okay, so we get the cover on it now. That was tough, but get this in there and bolt it up, and then we will go on something else. Okay, see if we can get this cover in here now. Don't worry, I'll wash it later. Turn it over, see if it don't lock up on us here. Turns it too fast, I'm afraid it'll crank. <laughs> <laughs> I think you there ain't no rough spots in it, it's man, all smooth. I think you're I think you've gone around.
50 pounds of oil pressure while we're spinning it up here. All right, I plugged in the battery down there. We got our gauges in. I still got to put the tack in. But uh, we're just going to see. Buddy turned the main juice on over there. Uh, turn the power up. Hey. Okay. So that's a good sign. So we'll keep on working here. Okay. We decided we're going to just space the, uh, the bolts up. And get them out of this groove that's cut here. That did it. That... Yeah, that's got it tight there. I don't have any Vortex style uh, valve covers here. Back when we used to run our late models, we ran 604 crate motors. See, you got plenty of thread there to hold that in. So I'm going to go, uh, I just got to get some really nice looking washers to match that uh, setup. But we can get enough to get it cranked anyway. Okay, I got the fuel line on and I'm making up a uh vent hose for it now we got the fire extinguisher back installed got the dry brake installed so from outside it'll look fine but it's just running into the fire extinguisher there but ain't obviously just take off the cap put fuel in it uh we got the situation on the valve covers resolved My buddy slapping the carburetor on it now we got to put plugs in these. Yeah, I got to plug that yep. off. And I got to plug off the top of the water pump, too, still. I got to put a cap on it. But as soon as I get back here in the back, I'm going to get up there and see if I can give him a hand. Some good, good quality spark plug wire. Yep. Well, very seldom do I fail when I set a goal for one of my work days here in the shop, but we failed today, mainly due to this jewel here. This is a distributor that the owner of the car had sent with it because the, uh, the distributor was stolen out. And this is one of these China knockoff HEIs. <clears throat> and we have checked everything in the world. The only thing I can figure, brand new module is bad. So I went to the auto parts store while ago, picked up a new AC Delco, a good $80 module to put in it. But it's seven o'clock, we're gonna call it a night and we're gonna go and go into the house and see if we can put my feet up for a change. But as always, I appreciate you guys watching. Don't forget to hit that like button, that subscribe button. And uh, we're gonna pick it up here on the next episode. Hopefully have this thing fired up. We are so close, but that's just the way it goes sometimes. It's mechanical and 
mechanical things do mechanical things. Have a good rest of your day. We'll see you next time on Race Car Fabrication and Restoration. God bless you. You take care.